Hey everyone, this is Broomster, and this is number 60 in my Sudoku problem series. This is an entropic line ratio even problem, um, where the goal, of course, is to place the digit in the cell marked with an X, which is also where the even square is. Um, I've used the bordered square for even. Um, I probably shouldn't have for this one, but it is a bit of a tradition on my channel. So uh, the way entropic lines works is any set of uh, three sequential cells along an entropic line has to contain a low, a middle, and a high digit. The ratio dots, of course, means that the cell separated by the dots must be in a one to two ratio, and the cell with the bordered square must be an even digit. So that's what you have to go on. There's a link below to where you can try this problem for yourself. I'm going to pause for a few minutes or a few seconds, probably not a few minutes. That would be a bit over the top. A few seconds so you can uh, pause the video yourself, uh, give this a shot and then when you come back I will explain how this works. I'm really losing it. Okay, now that you're back, why you went through all that, I don't know. Why I went through that, all that I don't know. So how this one works. So um, on these entropic lines, and this is an important thing to understand. I've covered this before, but I will again. Let's say this was going to be green, this was purple, and this was going to be red. Now, what we have here, we don't know which one they are, but they're one of them is each set. So what we know is that um, because we've got a green, a purple, and a red, this also needs to be a set of each of the three. So this is going to have to be green. We don't know what green is, but because we need this to be a set of the three and this to be a set of the three, this has to complete the set and purple and red needs a green. That's just the way it works. So every third cell along a line needs to be the same thing. We don't know what they are, but it needs to be the same thing. Now, this is the same. These are three cells apart. So one, two, three, so these need to be the same. Don't know what they are, but they need to be the same. Now, because these need to be all need to be the same, we can't put a high digit into any of these cells because if we put a say uh, the only high digit you can put onto a uh, onto a, a crop key dot, a black ratio dot is an eight and we can't put the eight with anything else. If we put an eight here, this would have to be a seven or nine and we would break the other dot. So one of these is going to be medium and the only two medium digits you can put on is four, six. And one of these is going to be low, which is going to be, well, because it's four, six, it's going to be three and two, but that's not what's relevant here. So we've got a medium and a low. And what that means is on the medium line, uh, let's change the green to blue, so I'm using my traditional colouring. Um, it doesn't matter. I don't know which order these are. I don't know that this is the medium. I don't know this is the low. It doesn't matter because all we need to determine is this digit. Now, if this is the medium, this is also going to need a low and a high. So I've used the wrong colours here. <laughs> this would be green. I'm losing my mind. Um, this would need a low and a high. And this having two lows would need a medium and a high. And what I've got is I've got one, two, three mediums, one, two, three lows. So this is going to need to be a high digit, a seven, eight, or nine. But this needed to be even. So it must be the eight. And that is the only digit it can be. Now, I've gone through in a lot more detail. I literally could have said, because this um, is two mediums and this is two lows and we need to complete the lines, there's going to be a high here, a high here, but only one of each. I need a third high, which has to go in the middle. And the only even digit is even high digit as an eight. That would have been a faster way to do it. But I really wanted to go through in detail so people who might be struggling with the concept will see all of the logic behind it. I hope that explains this one for you. This was a little bit tricky. People who, one of my testers who's not as familiar with entropic lines found this one quite quite hard. So I'm labeling it as that. Um, so yeah, hopefully uh, you managed to find your way through that one pretty quickly. Um, thank you everyone for watching. And as always, Good luck with your solving.